movie review. Sydney Prescott is now attending college, which fits the actress's age a little better. And anyone else who survived the first film, which I'm not going to give away here, is also back. The adaptation of the first film hits theaters and the killing starts again. We again get a quite good, not quite up to the standard of the first, opening scene as well as climax. The opening scene has two black people discussing the fact that there are not enough black people in scary movies. This focuses on the sequel aspect, slasher sequels, and all the cliches that come with that, and it does also itself live up to some of them, although I wouldn't really say that the deaths are bloodier, definitely not gorier, and more elaborate, as is put forth in this. The plot is pretty good, and tension and suspense is still through the roof, and the climax is not quite as strong as that of the first, but it is, again, just completely off the wall. There are some reasonably good characters, and this time we get some spoofs of the whole college experience with fraternities and yeah, that whole thing. The acting is about as good as it was in the first, and so is a lot of the dialogue. Although, you know, the ghost face caller doesn't have as good lines as in the first. The... It is, you know, as, as it announces itself, in fact, sequels are pretty much by definition inferior films. It just isn't quite as good. The identity of who is killing isn't as compelling and just in general it isn't entirely as good as the first, but it is a pretty good successor, and with the change of environment and the introduction of new characters, and the focus being on the sequel aspect more than just, you know, slasher films in general, we get a lot of good new parody material, and again, we can clearly tell these people get the genre and respect it, you know, and yes, you know, Wes had done entries in this genre before he made Scream, but still, you know, he's not just making fun of it, he's just, he's not just doing silly jokes that happen to reference something, he understands it and he plays around with structure and he does a lot of references, and again, there are some meta moments. All in all, a good sequel, for what that's worth.